guys, Cindy out here with my artsy endeavors. How you doing? I am doing pretty good. Um, I am doing the hop this year with um, uh, Peg Robinson. And for January, one of the things was my favorite things. Um, there's things I wanted to do outside, but unfortunately the weather's not cooperating uh, since it is January. However, I got thinking about it. This whole entire unit are a lot of my favorite things. So I'm just going to kind of give you a rundown. Um, up here we have a pillow that says my happy place. I have my Gumby. Isn't he cool? A couple funky uh, Coke bottles. Um, that big vase right there, I actually found in a thrift shop and it's rulers on one side and pens or pencils on the other. It's kind of cool. This right here is a vase that was made by a student in Hartwick College and it was given to my dad. Um, I'm sorry, Hartwood College is in New York. It was given to my dad for one of his retirement gifts. So that'll stay with me always. Or one of his uh, anniversary gifts, like 25 years or something. Um, this is my license plate from New York. Um, and that was when I had my Kawasaki Vulcan 900 uh, motorcycle. And, you know, this was right after the accident. I ended up selling it and that's my plate from it. And I just, I don't know, it's one of my favorite things. This little guy peeking up here in the background, he's an owl, a white owl, and he was given to me by my son. Uh, this gal in the back, my girlfriend Lynn, uh, found that one day for me, and she came in, she come in and sit it on my counter, and she says, it's yours, and I absolutely love it. It's a skeleton looking thing. This little fuzzy lion, I don't know why, I just love the guy, he's really cool. Um, this right here, you can't really see it that well, it's a Christmas card. Um, from a dear, dear friend of mine and you know, I had to hang on to it. I got to fix it so it looks better, but I had to hang on to it. All right, this down below, um, if you can see these boxes in the back, that is actually a canister set that my, um, son had made for me back in school. Um, and it's beautiful. It's just absolutely beautiful. But inside of all of those canister sets, I have goodies, journals, shells, um, more journals, completed journals, just all kinds of stuff. Uh, let's see what else I got here. This is a journal that I completed and I just absolutely fell in love with. I just love all this stuff on the end of it. So yeah, this is a, that's actually the love is journal. Um, check out my channel and you'll find the list for love is that was kind of cool. Um, of course, we got, uh, uh, that's Bobby off of show Supernatural. Um, we have, I love my grandpa and I love my grandma, my Haley bug. And like I said, there's more um, journals in there. This one up here was just a piece I did a long time ago. It just says journey on it. Um, I don't know. I just had fun with it and I stuck it up in there. Uh, my Bob Ross. Um, this is a funky little shell which I thought was kind of cool. There's my C that a friend Michelle had made for me years ago. And this is a little um, hand-blown Hershey Kiss, basically. And I don't know where I got that from. Um, these little pine cone owls, I have one there and I have one here. This one's missing his eye. Um, those my dear sister made for me. So those are really cool to me. I like to hang on stuff that was made for me. And I just, I think that's really neat. Um, this is a piece of art I did a while ago. It's kind of a wax thing. It was interesting. Um, I don't know, a little fuzzy kitty. Uh, let's see. This is right here. This is um, a piece of stained glass that I made back when I used to be in an artisan shop. You know, I might have to take that apart and take out those dice. Uh, <laughs> anyways, um, that's that. This is a corn husk doll. And this corn husk doll must be at least 25 years old. Again, my sister made her for me years and years and years ago. And I just, I absolutely love her. Um, we have a finished, no, this is an unfinished journal here that I need to use. Actually, I'm going to put that over here with my other journals. Okay, sorry about that. And then these are dra um, drawings that um, an old friend of mine had given to me. This... <laughs> little story behind this. Um, this is actually, if any of you remember, back in the 80s, this was a cigarette case. 
And it was so funny because this is what I always use. I was a smoker. Yes, I smoked Marlboro Lights for many, many, many years. I quit, uh, let's see, it'll be 20 years ago. So that's really cool. Um, but anyways, I was in this shop one day and I, we're always antiquing. And I, I love this case and I don't know what happened to it during my travels, but it was gone. And I saw this sitting on a counter and I said to a gentleman, I said, is that for sale? He goes, mm, I don't know. And I said, well, if it was, how much would you want for it? And he told me and I'm like, um, it's sold if it's for sale. And he sold it to me. So that was really cool. Uh, let's see over here. Uh, all kinds of things. I have these little purple vases that I like, a, a completed journal. This is all a bunch of paintbrushes. Years ago, we did um, a paintbrush swap, and that was kind of cool. These little canvases that I did for Gina's design team, um, a beautiful card, and then this is my grandbaby's foot when she was born, and let me tell you, that girl has big feet. Uh, let's see, this is just an alcohol ink that I've done, and this is just a box with a bunch of, I don't know why these are over here, um, just washi tape sticks. What I'm going to do with that, who knows, but that sits there. Uh, let's see, what else do we have? Down here, <laughs> you guys are going to think I'm nuts. Those two little people in the back, what they are is they're actually uh, tea light holders. And you put the tea light in their belly and then their, their eyes glow. They're kind of creepy, but I fell in love with them. So here they are. Uh, it's just a piece of art I did a long time ago. These are just um, watercolor palettes that when I was out antiquing that I found. So I think one of them is full of, of colors. So that's that. Uh, here... Some of you guys may recognize one of this. These are just really old books that I found in antique shops that I thought was really cool. Um, this is a piece of art when I first started creating one of this that I've done. And what it is, it's actually one of those Prima uh, pencil tins. And I just decided to play around with it and, you know, make it all sweet. Uh, another little, this is a tag journal, all made out of tags from clothes, that kind of thing. And I'm sure a lot of you recognize this young lady here. Um, this is Large Marge. Uh, I absolutely love her. She was fun, so much fun to do. Um, it was it was awesome. So there's Large Marge. Let me see what else I've got around here. Um, there's a few things over here. My my torch. That's for other things. <laughs> um, this piece right here. This is a piece of art. And oh, sorry, and my husband gave this to me for Christmas one year, and I fell in love with it. And what he said to me, let me get this off here. Hang on, there we go. Um, what he said to me is, when he saw this, it reminded him of me, and I think she is amazing. Isn't she cool? Big old paintbrush in her hand. Uh, let me see if I've got. Yeah, I have the artist. Um, signature on it so we got it in 2016 and it says you are what you paint and here's the information about it so yeah I think that's really really cool so that's a neat piece that I have um again in the background that's a waxy painting thing I did uh let's see this is one of my videos you guys just saw early la or later last year that's just one of my canvases um this is watercolor flowers those were done by Gina Aaron's uh, a couple of these things, like this little guy with the nose, I made him. Oh, no, here is my Love Is journal, so I'm not sure what that other one is. I'll have to check it out. But there's my Love Is journal, and it's sitting on a little box casket. Um, I have a few other things on this wall. Um, most of you know I'm a big Supernatural fan, so of course I had to have Baby. If you don't know what that means, just shoot me a comment. I'll let you know. Um, I have my original band uh, banner that I did uh, when my husband built me my studio up in New York. So that's hanging up there. Um, a piece I did in a Jody Ole class, just a bunch of stamps and odd and stuff. This one, uh, my girlfriend Gina right here, painted a long time ago. Uh, this is one I did recently, Pucky. And these are a couple of Jack Daniel bottles. I was on a flight coming back from South Carolina to New York. 
And this guy next to me was drinking these little bottles left and right. So um, I asked him if I, got a, if I could have the bottles. And of course I got them. So another little painting by Gina Brown. Uh, yeah, Gina Brown. Here we go, Gina. I changed your name again. Uh, Gina Aarons. My little It Ain't Easy Being Queen. Uh, let's see. Just odds and ends. Let me go a little bit further. I'm going to try to get you past my junk closet here. Um, that's another piece that I did kind of rustic like. And then this one. I don't know if I can zoom in, you guys. Oh, I can. This little canvas along with this little canvas. And then I have one more. I actually did, I don't know, one of the days I was messing around with uh, old bucket of nails and stuff. Um, this is another piece I did. Sorry if I'm making you seasick. I'm trying to do this with my cell phone. So there's that one. I thought that turned out really cool. And then this piece here that I did, which I thought was really cool. So yeah, I can use um, the beiges and the blues and that kind of stuff, but it's just not my style. I prefer color. Um, this is a bird cage that I found in a uh, thrift store. I think it was like three bucks. So I brought it home and, and I just, I love to hang dangly doodly stuff here. Um, you know, this is a piece that I made uh, wire wrapped on fabric. I don't know, I was just playing around with that. Um, just different goodies that I've gotten here and there. My skeleton, my feathers. My happy place, a girlfriend got that for me. These, what these all are is casino, um, right down here, they're casino cards. Um, when I made the money, I gambled a little bit. It was fun. My Buddha, I love my Buddha. Um, this is Charlie from Supernatural, and that is, I believe, Dean, um, Cassiel, and then Jared and Jensen Padalecki. And again, it just goes on down through. Um, that's Raymond Reddington from the show. I've got Chewy there. Um, just odds and ends. I seem to like to collect this stuff. I'm not sure why. This Taz, I've had, oh gosh, 35 years or so. But yeah, this is all just goodies that I hang around with. All right, I'm going to give you one more wall and then we'll be done. That's my hallway that goes that way. My clo another closet. This is a piece I just did a video on not long ago. I thought that was kind of cool. Um, this one here, again, my girlfriend Gina Aarons years ago gave me that for a birthday gift. I absolutely fell in love with it. I just, and I still do, it just speaks to me. Uh, this up here, <laughs> this is one of my very first pieces of art. Love her eyes, don't you? Um, and it says love every minute. Uh, here's another one that goes with it. Um, first piece of art. It says enjoy life. Um, this is a canvas my girlfriend Gina also made for me. It says believe and then it has writing all around the outside. One of my abstract things that I played with. Um, another piece of my art, a clock that I did the background. This was a piece of art that I actually found, um, at like one of those, uh, little shows in the park or whatever. And I just love the way that he did these faces. So I thought they were cool. This little guy, I believe that's from either Chelsea or Peg Robinson. I'm not sure which, I think Shell did that. This one here, again, just playing around. Um, this one, actually, I did get from Peg Robinson, which is fabulous. Um, the Journey is the Start of the Adventure. That's one of the very first pieces of art I did, which I thought was kind of cool. Uh, this is just a rack of all different kinds of things. Um, this is one of those dolls that Gina makes. You'll have to check that out. Um, and just odds and ends. I have a bunch of dangles and doodles and, I don't know, keychains. And I just, I love having this stuff. Um, this is another card set. Isn't that beautiful? Set of tags. Honestly, I don't remember everybody on this, but, you know. That I know is from Peg Robinson. I absolutely love her. Of course, I live in South Carolina. I gotta have a palm tree. Um, that's a C I did out of the wood 
whatever the wood is, chipboard, that kind of thing. And this little couple was given to Jeff and I this year by my son, which I think is neat. This is a piece done by Wendy Ewing, and I absolutely love it. I just think it's beautiful. Uh, one of my tags, uh, that tag I believe is Pegs. Um, this butterfly, if you look back somewhere in my records you'll, or in my videos, you'll see I repainted this. This butterfly, uh, my grandfather uh, made back when I was pregnant for my son, which was 33 years ago. And um, I've had to repaint it a few times, but I absolutely love that butterfly. It has a lot of meaning to me. My grandpa has since passed away. Um, that is a painting that I actually did two of them. I gave one to my son. Uh, my owl. I think he's cool. I have no idea. This one says, uh, dare to be you. Uh, funky cow. Another painting I did. Um, just a piece of fabric art stuff I did. And then I'll just finish with this wall. Um, Supernatural. I love the boys. Can't help it. These a beautiful, beautiful lady sent to me. Honestly, I'm sorry. I can't remember your name, but if if you sent them to me, I just absolutely love them. This is a um, a painting done by Peg Robinson. I need to get a frame for that. A couple canvases I've done recently. You've seen those. And again, that is from Peg. So I just wanted to give you guys a little run of, you know, some of my favorite things. Um, I have many more, but just a couple walls we got through on that one. All right. I hope you guys enjoy. Uh, don't forget to have fun. That's what life's all about. Happy creating, guys. I'll talk to you later. Bye.